Good morning. Today we're going to be um, transplanting. Um, today we're going to be transplanting uh, lettuce um, seedlings from the flats in which we started it. We use um, discarded stuff. We strongly believe in recycling. Okay, we do some potting soil in an old mushroom container scattered some seeds and watered and this is what we get notice the strong root growth at the bottom the plants are doing fine today we're going to transplant them into the winter garden it's now the cool season in florida the dry season uh we're going to demonstrate just how you can cheaply grow your own seedlings transplant them into the outside garden and make the most of what is available. So, there we go. Here are some seedlings to, to transplant. We're not gonna try to, um, we're not gonna try to um, separate individual plants. We're just gonna cut the, the flats into sections. Okay, such as we have here. And uh, plants, small sections into the ground as the plants get bigger in the ground we will we will thin them out into uh, and allow individual um plants to succeed and, and, and thrive so what we do we have prepared the soil in advance we will simply do this make holes in rows Approximately the distance that we expect the mature plants to, to be apart from each other, which is how far? Okay, which is in this case um, about in this case about uh, four to six inches apart. So we simply plug a section into the ground and surround it. As I said, the seeds are too thickly planted in the flats for us to separate individual plants at this stage so we simply drop cut the flats into section put some put some here okay do the same thing here okay another section here okay firm up the soil around it and we keep doing this We just continue the process. Oops. Um, stay up. Yep, there you go, baby. Alright. And we keep doing this. Makes life a lot easier than trying to separate individual plants at this stage, anyway. And we come like this. And like this, plug them in, and boom. Because the plants have already developed a good root structure in the flats, they should take off, and, and we haven't disturbed them overly much. And these excesses I just throw away because this is for demonstration purposes. Okay, and there you have it. Now, this is the dry season. I'm sorry, this is the dry season in Florida. And we want to conserve water because there's not much rain falling at this time of year. So we, I'm going to demonstrate a simple, effective way to conserve water so you don't have to water as much. This, of course, um, works anywhere where there is a dry season and you're trying to grow plants in the dry season. Simply cut up strips of newspaper, place it in between the rows, okay? Dampen in advance, cut out, you want it to stick in the soil, okay? 
This will help do two things. It will keep down them on the weeds that grow and it will prevent or lessen the amount of evaporation of water from your plants. Okay. From from around from the soil so that your plants have the benefit of even moisture as they develop. <laughs> okay. And you know that this again this is for demonstration purposes. What I'll also do is scatter a little soil to keep the newspaper in place. You can use leaves, dried grass, anything else that anything else that will cover the, the dirt and lessen the amount of evaporation from after you water during this dry season. Okay, and there we go. Now, dampen to keep this down. And you have the winter vegetable garden planted from seeds that you started instead of expensive um, seedlings from the garden store, okay? Garden in, uh, uh, to grow your own food can be as cheaply done as possible without spending excessive amounts of money at the garden store. Thank you from Yardman Press.